April showers are really driving growth rates on the Kilkenny farm for late April. This is one paddock that was damaged one night in February. The open nature is still visible, but the grass is beginning to fill out. There is no getting away from the fact that some parts of the paddocks were damaged during the wet February, but the sunshine and April showers have really moved grass on. Farm staff measured a growth rate of 106 kilos per day this week. These clips of beautiful green grass waving in the sun after receiving nitrogen, and where once there was a spur road to get cows into the back of the paddocks, shows the difference in grazing conditions compared to our last video. The herd are milking very well on grazed grass and one kilo of meal. Minerals and Calmag is in the water. Milk yield is about 23 litres at 3.55% protein and 4.2% fat. That's 1.85 kilos of milk solids per cow. Stocked at 3.6 cows per hectare, with higher stocking rates expected as growth rate surges. The strip wire is down and cows get at least two grazings in each allocation, if not more depending on what covers in the paddock. Breeding will start very soon and cows have been tail painted. Any cows not seen bulling will be handled by the scanner in early May. Jersey crossbred cows will get a high EBI, high milk solids Holstein Friesian sire, and Holstein Friesian cows will get a high EBI, high milk solids Jersey sire. Average herd condition score is about 2.9 body condition score across the herd. The herd in Kilkenny are forced to clean paddocks out well, down to 3.5 centimetres, but this is only possible if you keep allocating young grass, covers less than 1500 kilos. If you allocate stronger grass, it will be more difficult to graze out paddocks and yields suffer. Grazing paddocks out clean is possible on this farm, as all water that was lying on the farm has drained away and only minor scars of February 20, 2014 remain. There are 29 of the 300 cows milking in the once a day herd. These are mainly thin cows, condition score less than 2.5, late calving cows and cows that have high cell counts. Having them in a separate grazing group means they have to do less walking to and from the parlour and can be looked after better in the parlour. The bulling heifers are out grazing and breeding has started this week. All heifers will be bred once to AI and then allowed run with the clean up bulls. The few cows left to calve were on the standoff pad up to this week, but have now been allowed out to grass. Mm -hmm.